Hey guys, this is Mike with the Collector's Vault, and we're back playing some Metroid AM2R. Uh, I actually am um, technically right where I left in the last game. I forgot there was a save station right here, so that's where I saved. And now uh, we're gonna go kill the remaining Metroids in this area. And one thing I love again with the soundtrack against Phenomenal is that like there's like good transitions. Like right here, it goes to like a more sinister uh, theme that still is kind of similar to the Temple theme, which I really like. These are the, uh, I think it shows these are like the breeding grounds, is what they call any of the areas where the Metroids are hiding. Yeah. And you will get introduced to these like weird, uh, like green vine things, which I think used to just be like spikes. Here we go. Yeah, these are uh, breeding grounds with these tendrils that are like just. I think in the old game there were like spikes, but this thing, they're. It's cool. They, yeah, it's lore boating. These things are supposed to be like. Like tendrils that like, uh, decompose things so that way the Metroids can feed on these. I think the Chozo made these so that way they can grow the Metroids here. Cause again, the, the Chozo created the Metroids. Where is he? Somewhere. Ah. This man is start. Ah. Yeah, you do take damage in those tendrils. Ah. There we go. At some point, the Metroids do actually learn to dodge, which is pretty annoying. Because even if you hit them on their weak spot, which is their like their underbelly, if they're dodging, it'll still technically... Even if it hits them when they're dodging, it'll still technically miss. It's kind of a... I guess it's just game programming, but... There we go. Uh, there's two more, right? Yep. Ah! If there is like a technique for killing these guys, I don't know it. I just do what I I just do what I can. There we go. Give me all some ammo. Missiles ready. Ah, uh, this is actually a more. You can kind of tell this one's a little bit more fully grown. So these are, uh, just stay here. See, right there it dodged. See? It's annoying. Yes, I know I'm taking damage, but, ah! There we go. It was just easier staying in the, t in the, in the green vines, taking the little bit of damage. Ooh, another earthquake means the lava is moving. We're draining. So we can now go deeper into SR388. I can kill these things. Oh, I think there's a, is there an upgrade up here? There isn't. I want to kill these guys for some ammo. I can go on top of there, I just wanted to get some energy and some missiles. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking there was a... That's later in the game. I thought there was like a, like a Metroid that's hiding and it evolves into the next stage. That's later in the game. I thought it was right here. However, we do have our first boss right here. And this is new to the game. An ancient Guardian. Uh, I just forget the, uh, the yellow is fireball, green is that, okay. Purple is get down. Blue is get in the middle. Oh no, don't go in the middle. Never mind. Yeah. There we go. Do some bad Green stay where you are. Green is stay where you are. I'm trying to remember this. Yellow is fireball. I keep forgetting that. Blue is get away. Ah. Green is stay where you are. I can't remember. Yellow is fireball. Fireball. Now I remember. Alright, get up here. Fireball again. 
stay in the middle so I can get you. Blues out of the way. Get out of the way. Missiles will do the job. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. Yummy. I love the little effects of the robots when they explode. Die. As you can see, the lava that was here is drained, so we can now go further into SR388. Oh, there we go. There is something over here, but I think I need like more upgrades. I can't remember. Okay, so I can't quite use. There we go. That's why. Uh, I think I need to, like quickly jump on that. I, I think I need like the other upgrade later. I think I've done it before, but it's really tough. I'm just gonna wait till later. Any other upgrades or hidden things here? I don't think so. Here's a shortcut. Yep. See, I don't like taking shortcuts though, because usually that means I'm missing like uh like another little hidden area. Alright, there was not. Your 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 uh your map system is actually pretty pretty helpful with like, identifying things that are hidden. Appearing as like a white dot. Here's one, I think. Maybe I'm wrong? No, there it is. Okay. Uh, I think I need, need the uh, high jump boots. Alright, I'll come back here later, because we actually do get the high jump boots in the second area. Which is one of my... F every area in this game is so good. So, again, Dr. Rem and his team have actually... Reimagined the second area, which was technically another Chozo temple, but they're all different Chozo structures. And this one is actually a water treatment facility, I think, and it's called Well. Oh, well. I forgot about that. Damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Sorry if I'm I cursed again. Ah. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, this is a. You can tell it's all water here. This is actually like a like a hot. It's called the Hydro Station, and which again in the first game had the same music as the Golden Temple because it was another, another Golden Temple in the first game. This being reimagined as a whole different Chozo structure was also given given a new soundtrack, and this, the soundtrack for this the Hydro Station is actually incredible. I, I think it's a re, I think it's like a remix of the Brinstar Jungle theme from Super Metroid, and you'll hear it right now. So good. I'll play this game. Ah. I think the best way to go is... I think if you go to the far left, that's where the metros are hiding. We can't get there yet, so we're gonna go over here. There we go. We are being hindered by the water mechanics a little bit, but... Ah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Select how I go down. It okay, pulls you in. And it's because all of these rooms are actually, like, almost, like, to scale how the original uh, Metroid 2 was. But then obviously they just... This is Endgame? Ooh, Endgame. Screw that. But yeah, so they just reimagined everything, all these different textures and sprites. But, like, everything's, like, one-to-one. -one. It's really cool. There is a Metroid in here. There it is. 
That was the one with dodges. Gotcha, there you really dodge. So I think it like stays on it doesn't go under the water, so. Alright, let me see if I can uh There we go. There should be a missile over here. Thank you. Again, over here is another breakable wall, but it's for uh, yeah, it's for end game. We don't have screw attack yet. Can I just go over here? Ah. Not yet. Infamous things in the game, and I love the callback here. How they act, you'll see. Uh, is it over here, there it is. Ooh, what do we have here? Let's start getting rid of all these things. Can I get rid of these missiles? No, it has to be uh, multiple bombs. I think that's how it was in the original game, too. These little, like, uh, Shozo pellets. There it is. Various suit. Look how it goes grayscale, like in the old game. This is a very helpful upgrade, as we all know. There's no heat in this game, I think. So even though there is like, like some areas of lava, like, the various suit in this game is just doing what it always does, like where it's uh, just giving you more armor, so you have less uh, less damage. What you just saw there was the uh, old Super Metroid trick, where if you hold in the power butt, the power beam, and charge it up, and then go into Morph Ball, you drop five uh, Morph Ball bombs. You can even direct. Uh, like, kind of like, shoot them in a certain direction. Like, if I press forward, it'll go forward. Couldn't really tell because I was in, the, in that, like, cramped hallway. But yeah, you kind of, like, just stay still. I think you can even, like, actually sh even shoot upwards. Wait a minute, let me see this. Ah. Upwards? That didn't work. This were... There we go. And I help you, like, do well, morph ball bomb jumps. You have to hold down to do that. Uh, right here? Yep. Ah. There we go. Again, I just love playing this level because I just love the music so much. Alright, so we got various suit. I think there's a missile okay. Or a missile tank. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Yeah, but over here is uh, where the Metroids are actually the Metroid breeding grounds are over here, but again, let's get all of our upgrades first. We'll actually get us some new weapons in here, so. We'll also get a really good movement upgrade, which is going to be very helpful when I'm fighting against Metroids, and that's the, uh, the high jump. Come on. There it goes. I think this is where the high jump is. I think I have to go outside to get that one. Mm. Mm. I forgot about that one too. It's been a while since I played this game, which is odd. I usually play this game like pretty often, just because it's so fun. It doesn't take long. Ah. Machines. Woo. Oh, I remember. I gotta, like... This is actually not the high jump pitch, this is the the wave beam. Nice. Now we can shoot through walls. There, uh... oh. Yeah, it kinda makes certain enemies a joke. Unless they require missiles to kill. Down 
here's the high jump, yep. It's cool, these, uh... The way being kind of, like, makes these, like, blocks, like, nothing, because it just shoots through all of them. What's over here? Oh, I think this might be where it is. Yep, here we go. Ah! There we go. Huzzah! Um, again, is there any... There might be some more. Yeah, now I see. I jump much higher now. Ah, there we go. I'm down here yet. Can I get over there? Okay, there is a way for me to get over there. I have to figure that out. Oh, I think it's in the one room I didn't go into yet. Alright. Yeah, like, if you were to keep going down that one shaft... Oh, here we go. With all the, uh, those breakable blocks, you can go that, you can go that way. So... Just, so now with the high jump, we get... We can take this way. Um, alright, one second. I want to actually see if there's not, if I'm missing any, uh, things over here. Yeah. Is there a, anything hidden over here? No, apparently not. Alright. I could be wrong, but Power Bombs later game will help you identify hidden things. I actually don't recall if there's an upgrade here or is it just to get like uh like missile tanks and stuff. Ah. Yeah, I think right down there is a little passageway, so that's over here. There it is. There we go. Yeah. See, you can you, you can see a little better how the, the morph ball the morph ball turns around. It's really cool. A few more minutes I'm gonna call it an episode. I'll try to get to a save station or something. I think. Okay, I'm in here. No, there's. Yeah, I think there should just be like an upgrade station. Uh, some upgrades. They're not upgrades, they have missile tanks or something. Die. I'm actually not sure if this is just meant to show us that hey, there's uh, something on the other side of this wall over here. I think it's all it really is. It's just for a missile tank. So I hope it's all it is. I'm gonna have to jump really high here. Oh wait, is that something? Ah, uh, nothing. All right. Get paranoid sometimes. Now with the high jump, yeah, like my wall jump is like really insane. Like, woo. Woo. See again, I forget I get that one right there. I think I have to go. I'll have to get it later. Maybe I'll do that like when I came up. This one thing I get outside. This other one, I think I have to go. Wait, can I go right here and get it? I'm gonna use more fall bombs. Is there any... No, I think I see these water pipes, I think I have to do there and it's in the the different area. The other other room to the left of me. There we go. I'll have to get that later. 
I think we're just about out of time. We're gonna... We're not done in this area yet. There's still one more place to go. But I'm gonna get to a save station and then we'll continue on. Ah. Ah. There we go. Alright, guys. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll get back to this pretty soon. So stay tuned for more Metroid AM2R. And that's it for now. See you later.